Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I'm gonna be unboxing two fairy loots. Um in this video the normal YA and the dope box. Um this is for July. I'm really behind on filming these videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the adult box just because um it's only the book only. So let's go ahead and open the adult box. So this month's theme was demigods and donuts. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take out the book now. Like I said, we only get the book in the adult subscription box. So um, let's go ahead and take this book out. So this month's book is The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Bamman. Um, so yeah. This is really pretty. Um, we have the stencil edges here, which looks amazing. I love them. We just have like the skull and the flower, which is so pretty. And then it is also signed by the author, which is really nice. I actually like their signature a lot. It's really nice. And then we have um, the naked heart back, so I'm take the touch heart off. And this is stunning. Um, this looks amazing. I really love the detail on the foiling on here. Um, this is so pretty. I love when they do character art for the hardback. I think it's really nice. And then we have these pretty end pages, which look like they're just Polaroids of the two main characters. Um, yeah. So then we have a different one on the back here. And I really like them. Um, I really like this edition of the book and I like what they've done with this. Um, and I'm just glad we don't have black sprayed edges. Um, oops, I'm putting this wrong. Okay, there we go. So I'm just glad they um, didn't do black sprayed edges like they've been doing for a couple of months now. But yeah, that is the adult book for July. Now let's go ahead and move on to the YA. Uh, subscription box with the goodies in the book. Um, again, this is for July. Um, and this month's theme is Trial and Retribution. Guys, I'm not really good at pronouncing things, so it's okay. So, the first item that I see here is a pair of socks, um, which are very cute, um, but they're very small. Uh, I don't think they honestly will fit me because they're so tiny. Um, so I don't have small feet. So um, these are inspired by Gideon the Knight, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, the next items are this little bag here. Oh. This is empty. Probably there's something inside there, but. <laughs> Anyway, let's just focus on this thing. So we have, it sounds like metal straws, so let's take it out. Yes, so we have three metal straws inside here and a brush cleaner. Um, yeah, so they're very simple. We have like um, two skinny straws and then we have like a bubble size straw. Um, these are cool, I guess. Um, they're just too plain I guess but they are inspired by um just a Greek pattern so not like a bug or anything it's an okay item um then we have a pen banner which is nice because I do get a lot of pens from all of the book subscription boxes that I get um I just need to find a place to hang this I probably will hang it back here on this wall but yeah, that's really cool. I like this, and this is inspired by um, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, which I have no interest in reading that series, but the design on that is pretty nice, and it does match the book cover. Um, so yeah, and then we have the next item is a photo album. Um, it says a little adventure on it, and it's like a faux leather, and I really like the spine on here as well. Um, yeah, so we have the opening. So yeah, it's just a photo album, which I feel like we've been getting 
one of these in every subscription box so we got one earlier i think in april from the little crate and then we got one for the bookish box a couple months ago so yeah these are cool to put my prints that are getting in description boxes um i guess that's nice but i don't really need three of them so yeah anyways the next item which i think it was this that was inside this little bag it's like a little dagger knife um i it's like a knife replica replica um yeah anyways um this is inspired by it's a collectible letter opener uh, which is the third one they've done this year or something um it's inspired by darkest shade of magic by b schwab um that's cool um it's nice i guess anyways <laughs> and then we have the tarot cards for this month um the art is amazing as always i love them um these are the hermit and strength and i love these characters um artwork they're really really nice and these are inspired by this month's are from blossom uh by deborah Fraley, which i'm pretty sure this was the book of the month for may i think or something like that but yeah these are really nice i really like them i like receiving them um and now we have the actual book for this month so let's go ahead and open it up we have the author's letter behind this art print um so if you want to read that you can and then we just have um the pamphlet they always include um and they talk about the next month and the author interview and stuff like that inside there and then we have the actual book which is the darkening by Sonia Mara. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Probably not, but I really like the phoning on the cover. It's really, really nice. Um, I haven't heard nothing about this book, but I am interested in it. And then we have these nice blue stencil edges, which are really nice. Just blue all over. They're nice. And then let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket and see if there's anything on the hardback. Yeah, there's just this symbol, symbol and has the title on gold foiling on the cover, um, which is nice. Um, like, I prefer, like, I prefer character art on here, but that's cool. And then we have um, the signature from the author, which is nice. So there's a signed copy. And then we have beautiful end pages. I love this a lot. I always love that they do different artwork on both end pages the front and the back they look amazing i love them um these are a really nice addition of the book so yeah that's what we got in july for the adult and the ya box let me know um what you guys thought about this boxes um if you thought the what they did with the books were cool or not i really like both of these they're really pretty but i think i prefer what they did with this book i just love the stencil edges a lot more but i love the end pages on this one a lot more than what they did on this one um but yeah let me know what you guys thought of this box and these books uh i am interested in reading these hopefully soon but i guess we'll see anyways thank you guys for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button for more unboxings um and more book related content that i plan on making soon hopefully um yeah make sure you give us a thumbs up comment below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys